All right, guys. Third ride of the day today. We are on the Suzuki GSX uh, S750 today, or this time around. I got the pretty one. I like the black one. Then again, I like the dark bikes to begin with. And then uh, you've got the blue and white one over there. It's not bad looking either. I gotta admit, but I'll take the black one. I like my bikes as dark as possible. All right, let's get on this bitch. So, give you a couple stats of the bike. Uh, I can tell right now that it's heavier than the uh, uh, FZ07, which is one of its uh, direct competitors. Uh, it's got a bit more power though, being that it's a uh, 749cc uh, four-cylinder versus the uh, 689cc of the FZ07. So it should have a little bit more power. It is a little bit heavier though. It's definitely noticeable, the extra weight. So let's turn this bitch on. So what do we got for toys here? We have gear indicator, fuel gauge, speedo, tack, temperature, time, and odometer. This is the ABS model, by the way. I believe the other one up front isn't an ABS model, but... Sounds good. Uh, the tank's a little bit higher because it's a little bit bigger than the FZ07 as well. Uh, I believe it's 17 liter tank versus 14 on the FZ. So the S750 has uh, the same basic engine as your GSX R750. Uh, there are going to be a few differences, obviously, but uh, performance-wise, it should be quite similar. Definitely has that same uh, sound to it. When I give it the revs, I feel the vibration in my nuts. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> uh, let's see, little bells and whistles here. We got the flash to pass, headlights, hazard lights, turn signals, horn, starter, power. All the basic stuff is here. No extra toys, no extra gizmos. Let's uh, set the mirrors here. Put that visor down. Oh, it's got a bit more power than the FZ. That's for sure. It's definitely noticeable. Uh, we're talking, what is it, 50, 60 more cc's? Yeah, 60 more cc's if I'm doing the math correctly. 689 versus 749. Acceleration, uh, quite similar in the lower band to the FZ07 actually. I don't, uh, I don't really feel the difference. So let's get it up into the higher revs once we get up on the open road here. See if the acceleration is a bit better on the FZ, uh, or sorry, on the S750 versus the FZ07. I'm going to be comparing it directly with the FZ07, considering that uh, that's its main rival. And uh, from my understanding, it's what the uh, uh, other people that have ridden the uh, S750 today, they've also been to the Yamaha demo days and their, their main attraction there was the uh, FZ07. So um, you can also compare it to the FZ09. But I have a feeling that uh, between the two, a lot of people are still going to take the uh, 
the S750 over the FZ09, so I'm going to stick with the uh, 07 as the comparison bike. Um, you can definitely feel the added weight of the engine. It's uh, it's definitely heavier than the FZ07, uh, which means maneuverability and the the ability to, to uh, twist in and out of traffic is not going to be as good as the FZ07. Now, saying that, saying that, as I fucked up the shift there, um, the S750 is not a bad bike at all. Um, there's a reason why it's the biggest competitor to the FZ07, which everybody has been ranting and raving about. Um, you're not going to be a competitor to that FZ07 unless you're a good bike. And the FZ, uh, the, so many damn letters in this review, I'm going to mess it up a few times. Um, the GSX S750 is uh, no slouch. Uh, it's definitely one that if you are looking at the Yamaha, uh, to be looking as an alternative as well. Uh, price point is where some people might lose out on the Gixxer um, S750 um, because this bike is a little bit more expensive than the S, uh, FZ07 it, that, that might be where it falls a little bit short um, but if you don't mind paying the extra bucks um, I'll annotate below uh, what the price difference is between the two bikes now this will be in Canadian dollars because I am in Canada um, for yourself so you can see what the cost difference is then you know If you want to get something a bit more expensive, and you prefer the uh, the S750, then by all means, go for it. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money. So, it's very smooth on the throttle. Um, it's got the four into two into one exhaust system. So you've only got the single tailpipe coming out the back. Uh, it actually comes out the side uh, on the right side of the bike as most do well you can see right here on the on the other F's on the other you can see right here on the other S750 where exactly the exhaust is and what it looks like but uh, the power delivery is very smooth um, it doesn't have that uh, that twin engine you know uh, rattle to it Uh, it feels for me the lean forward on the FZ07 is a little bit more. Um, oh, sorry, on the S750 is a little bit more than the FZ07. It feels like you're a bit more upright. So, seating position, I think this is going to be closer to uh, the FZ09. Not quite as far as the FZ09, but um, definitely closer to the 09 versus the 07. Uh, engine braking not as good. The FZ07 takes the uh, uh, FZ07's got better engine braking than the S750. Uh, the power on acceleration. That's a toss-up, actually. I can't quite tell the difference. I think they're probably going to be quite similar in terms of uh, their low-end power delivery. You know, honestly, I'm going to have to give the edge on the torque to the FZ07. All right. Ah, it leans nice, comfortable. I didn't, uh, I didn't feel any problems in the lean. Watch out for these road snakes. All right, so let's see what happens if we play in the rev band here. Get the revs. So, 100k an hour, just over 6,000 revs. Let's open it up. Ooh, yeah. It likes that. It likes that. Third gear, 110, 7,000 revs. 
Let's see if he opens it up a little bit here. Oh, a little twist of the throttle there and it goes right away. All right, so let's give it a little shot here. Fourth gear, just under 6,000 revs, 105 kilometers an hour. Gun it. 120, just over six. It goes, it accelerates. No question there. I might have to give it the edge on the FZ07 on the highway here. It seems more comfortable with that bigger engine, that uh, that Jixer 750 motor. Uh, it seems like it's going to do better on the highway. Even though it's a naked bike, that front end is still doing a good job of uh, redirecting the wind. All right, so let's get into naked bike highway cruising mode. Hand on hip, upright. Perfect. Like I said, it is a little bit farther forward than the FZ07. I, I still think comfort wise and lightness of the bike, the FZ07 is going to take, uh, take it for me. Uh, power delivery on the high end, the S750 for sure with that uh, Jixer motor. So I have a feeling it's gonna come down to a couple of different items for me and maybe for you guys. Uh, the, uh, the looks and comfort factor, the maneuverability. Uh, in my opinion, I'm gonna to have to give it to the FZ07. The, uh, the power and the performance, especially in the higher end, I'm gonna to have to give it to the S750. For sure. Uh, it does seem more comfortable out on the, uh, the highway than the FZ. Um, let's get back a bit. Uh, the tank's a little bit higher to get into a bit of a tuck if you're going on the highway. Now the tank's a little bit, there's got a nice hump here, right where the warning sticker is, it's a little too high. The FZ07 has got more of a streamlined tank, but then you're trading off the fact that the FZ07 also carries three less liters of fuel uh, than the S750. I'm getting a little bit of rattle or feedback from the road through my feet from the pedals or pedals from the um, foot, foot pegs um, which is odd considering these have a rubber pad on top of them for just that you know absorption of that sort of thing. Yeah engine braking is uh, is not quite as good as the 07. It has it, but it's not very good. Woo! It likes to lean. It's no sport bike, but it does lean. Okay, now let's give her, now we got some distance here. Okay, I lose power at about 9,000 revs. So, over 9,000 revs, I didn't have the response that I liked. So it looks like the bike is gonna be more comfortable uh, between about six to, I wanna say 8,500 revs. It seems to be where it's happiest, because now I'm sitting at uh, just under six. Yep. As soon as it breaks that 6,000 revs threshold, uh, the bike is happy again. But when I got up to about 9,000 revs there coming around the corner, 
Um, the bike just didn't seem to have any more oops. Which I'm guessing is where the uh, difference from the Jixxer 750 engine uh, design comes into play. Still getting a lot of uh, vibration. Just got to hit the hand with a rock. Uh, still getting a lot of vibration up through the pegs. I don't have that problem on the FZ07. It's making my foot kind of numb from that vibration. Yeah, you definitely feel it more when the uh, when you let off the throttle a little bit and the engine braking starts to kick in. Which is surprising because the bike doesn't really have much in the way of engine braking. As compared to the FZ07 anyways. Oh man, that vibration is really starting to numb my foot. Yeah, that could be a problem for me. That's going to have to be one of my complaint issues, is that uh, vibration in the foot peg. Which is odd, because it's got rubber pads on the foot peg. And I'm at uh, fifth gear, uh, just under five, or just over 5,000 revs. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really starting to make my uh, foot numb, my right foot especially. Kind of numb from the vibration. Uh, I can feel the same vibration in my hands, uh, not quite as much. Uh, and it's definitely more prevalent when the engine braking starts to kick in. So we'll have to chalk that up to another comfort issue where the FZ07 comes ahead. There is definitely a vibration issue in the bike. And it's, it's a really, um, how to put this the best way, it's a really high intensity vibration. So like, think of, uh, think of like a dentist's uh, drill or one of their water picks or breaking up tartar, that kind of stuff. How it's, it's a really, a really fine pulse of vibration. Uh, that's what it feels like. Well, I mean, it's it's a four cylinder. It's an inline four cylinder engine, so um, you can imagine the revs. It's vibrating at uh, right now about 5,000 vibrations a minute. So it's definitely coming from the engine. Like I'm tempted to take my feet off the peg. Oh yeah, right there. Oh. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if I'm on the ball of my foot, if I'm in the uh, the arch or the heel, um, the vibration comes right through. Um, and in terms of what I'm wearing for footwear, uh, I've got Alpine Stars uh, racing boots on. Um, the vibrations carrying into my foot, like I said, it's making my foot numb and uh, it's kind of making my hand a little bit sore particularly the right one because i keep letting my left one off to relax it so my right one's definitely getting a little bit uh a little bit pulverized and sore from it all right so we're headed back to the dealership here uh, finishing off the ride today on the uh, GSX-S750 from Suzuki, 2015 edition. Um, there's some positives, there's some negatives. Um, positive is, I like the power of the bike. Uh, it definitely has a bit more power um, because of its larger motor, 749 cc's um, versus what I'm accustomed to on my FZ at 689. But uh, there is a but. That power comes at a price. Um, there is a good amount of vibration, and I've been feeling the vibration uh, for most of this ride through my foot and uh, into my hands. 
Uh, the vibration, it's not a painful vibration. It is making my hands a little bit, uh, or my right hand specifically, because I keep taking my left one off. Uh, it keeps making my right hand uh, a bit sore, and it makes my feet numb. So there's a negative to that. Um, engine braking, the F-Z07 definitely has uh, a lot better engine braking. So if you're the kind of person that likes to use the engine brake, uh, the F-Z07 might be a better bike for you with that twin configuration. Um, the engine out of uh, the GSX R750 is the one they use in here. So you're going to get a lot of power. I did notice the power drop off uh, when I hit that 9000 rev mark. It did kind of fizzle. So you want to stay uh, on this bike, I believe, between the 5 and uh, 8500 8, rev range to kind of maximize the power. Um, but it definitely has it. Um, it's a good bike overall. Uh, there are a few issues, like I said, with the vibration that um, might drive some people a little nuts. But uh, it's a good bike overall. Uh, I'm, I'm rather impressed by it. Uh, do I regret buying my FZ07 after riding the GSX S750? Not even slightly. Uh, the FZ07 it ticks off more boxes than the S750. Uh, the power is nice. Uh, I would have liked to have seen the FZ07 come out with a bit bigger motor. Uh, I'm not going straight to the triple like the 09, but um, you know, maybe making it 720 cc's or whatever, right? Maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, give it a bit more oomph uh, to kind of stay with the S750 because the S750 definitely has um, more power in it than the uh, FZ07, so it definitely has a perk to that. Um, the FZ07 is also cheaper, and I think more comfortable. Um, highway riding. If if I disregard the vibration that I'm feeling through the through the pegs and through the handlebars, I, you know I'd have to give the the edge to um, the S750, but I can't disregard that. Uh, we've been on the ride for about 30 to 40 minutes here and uh, I'm going to have to shake out my feet and my hands when we stop because uh, they are, my feet are definitely feeling numb from the uh, vibration. Uh, I'll talk to the rider here on the, uh, on the other 750, see if, uh, if she feels the same vibration feedback uh, on that bike. Judging by the fact that she's also taking her hand off the, um, her left hand off the bars, I'm guessing she's feeling that same sort of vibration as well. So, I spoke to the girl at the last ride here, or at the last light, and uh, she's definitely feeling the vibration in her hands and feet as well, so it's uh, certainly not me. Um, for me, if you're getting that kind of vibration, where your feet and hands are starting to go numb, that's a deal breaker. Uh, no matter how good the bike is otherwise, not being able to feel your feet or hands after a 30, 40 minute ride is um, kind of a killer. So I'll have a word with the Suzuki guy here. We got a guy here from the head office doing the demo ride. Uh, so I'll see what he says about it. But uh, it's, it's definitely a deal breaker because, uh, I mean, the last thing you want is to not feel your feet and your hands. So anyways, so that's the end of the ride, guys. For the uh, GSX S750, uh, I'm going to be on the, oh crap, what am I writing on? Oh yeah, V-Strom. I'm going to be on the V-Strom next, giving that one a good, uh, good ripping. Uh, given a comparison to the Super Tenere uh, from Yamaha that I did the demo on last week. 